Jessica, Ariadne is still panicking, which is not great. And that Mechtoid is still out there. Right, I need that Mechtoid to move towards me. To hit shit probably well. The sibling shot should be up by now. Here it comes. And it's shooting Ariadne and missing. Targeting my position. Oh yeah, now she needs to reload. Let's see. Is the sibling shot up? Yes, it is. And I can target the Mechtoid if I want to. Or I can just shoot it. I will have double tap. Ariadne needs to reload. She should also move out of the way. Arpit needs a heal. Probably. But he won't get one on this turn. I should maybe heal my scout still. Yeah, I probably should. Just in case. Alright, let's move. There's still an ethereal somewhere out there. I'm thinking the ethereal will be with the main group. That seems fairly obvious now. But we'll see. Okay, I want that make to move towards me. So let's move back a bit. And reload. Yep, I'll do that. Reload. And just destroy it on the next turn. Donnie can reload as well. Jessica can hunker down, Arpit can hunker down. Sebastian can overwatch. Okay, overwatch, overwatch. Reload. This should be fine. Even if the Mechtoid gets a shield, I should still be able to destroy it. I have enough firepower. Yeah, I hear that. It's not moving towards me. Interesting. Very interesting. That's a little bit strange, actually. Alright. I'll wait. One more turn. I'm not in a huge rush. Hunker down. Hunker down and overwatch. I'm pretty sure it will move towards me. Come on, we got a welcoming committee. Is it moving? Really? It's still not moving? To lose okay. I'll move myself then. No, it's moving. There we go. I'll get the reaction shot or two. And... Miss? Yeah, that's a miss, unfortunately. No contact. If it won't get a shield, then it will go down very easily. Come on, Sebastian. Nice. Six damage. Is this the one that can shoot twice? Well, no, not anymore. Good. Okay, it's down to less than half hit points. It will go down easily. But it will shoot someone on this turn. Probably Ariadne. No? Oh, it's shooting Sebastian and missing. Yeah, he's dead now. Or as good as dead right now. Let's see. Let's take a shot with Sebastian. That might even be a kill. Yep, that's a kill. Rip. Okay, good. Now I can kill the Sectoids. And go handle the Ethereal. That's the hard part. Oh, Sectoids. Oh, there's still a drone. Alright. Only 31%. Okay. Who can take care of the drone? This won't be a kill. But 5 damage. Lucas. That's your kill, dude. Yep. Nice one. Okay, drones. Done. I can move him a bit. I'll have to bring him with me. Because he's supposed to kill the Ethereal. Okay, reload, reload. I'll just reload everything. Good moment to do that. And maybe heal up a bit. Ariadne needs a heal. Or two. Yeah, probably two heals, actually. I wouldn't want her to die, that's for sure. Alright, let's heal her up a bit. Twice. She'll be almost back to full hit points after that. And then I can heal one more person and still have one med kit left in case someone gets critically wounded. Right, let's move then. There are still some sectoids out there. 
might want to kill them first. There are at least two Segtoids left, I think. I lost count. But there are Segtoids. Don't can probably shoot one. Come on, where the heck are they? They are probably running away. They might be at the end of the map. Next to the zone wall or something like that. Probably. Well, let's go find them. Our Pete can move here. He should probably reload now. Sebastian also needs to reload. Okay, reload, reload, reload. Move here. Steady weapon. And that's it. This has been an interesting mission so far. And it's not quite done yet. Let's go find these sectoids. There's definitely at least one more sectoid. There we go, I can see something. 32%. Can Don shoot it? No, he can't. No line of sight. The trees are probably blocking line of sight. 32%? No. Well, this will be slightly annoying. And he's probably going to run away even more. Yeah. Maybe I should land. I probably should. Alright, let's land for now. Not waste fuel. Because it doesn't last forever. I need line of sight to that sectoid. That's the easiest way to kill it. Also, there's no guarantee that Ethereal will actually be inside the UFO. He might not be. So, I still need to be careful about that. If I run into the Ethereal before I'm ready, I'll be kind of screwed. Or at least I'll be in trouble. I can probably still handle it because I got two more ghost grenades. But I'd rather not. Okay, Overwatch. I need to take care of the Sectoids first. Now Don might have line of sight. Come on, where do you think you're going? Come back here. Nope. You'll be fine, it's just one tiny sectoid. So, yeah, this is a little bit irritating, I have to say. All right, two sectoids. So, Don, please tell me you have line of sight to one of them at least. Yes, you do. 74%. That probably won't be a kill, but I do have double tap. Okay, six damage. One more. Please just kill it. And that's a kill. Nice. So one more. Can I kill it on this turn? No, probably not. Nope, not on this turn, but on the next one. I'll just use Overwatch. If he tries to run away, I should get some reaction shots there. Move closer. Right, let's just move with everyone. No, you're staying there. The Alright, Overwatch. If it moves, I should get like two or three reaction shots. No, it's not moving. Now I can kill it. Yep, Ariadne can do it. To that, that will be two shots to the face. So that's easily a kill. Bye. Really? One hit point? Well, doesn't matter. I got hit and run. So he's going down. Bye. I hate sectoids. They aren't very dangerous, but they are an annoyance. A major annoyance. Alright, now I need to reload. Maybe get one more heal. And go handle the final group. Which is going to include an ethereal from the looks of it. I don't like that too much, but oh well. You have to do what you have to do. I do have a flamethrower, which is always guaranteed damage to the ethereal, so that's nice. What do I want to use that heal on? I could heal twice, but then I won't have any medkits left. Which is not great. Well, let's move first. I think I'll heal Jessica. She's an assault, and I usually use them quite aggressively. And the ethereal will have some friends outsiders. He definitely won't be there on his own, that's for sure. 
Okay, reload. Come on, reload. Let's go then. I have no idea what exactly they are. So I'll need to be careful when I move. Arpit could also use a heal, but he's not going to get one. I don't have two ghost grenades, so I should be fine. I'll need Dawn to not get reflected, and I'll need Dawn to actually have line of sight. Oh, there's one more sectoid? I guess so. Yes, I hear that. Okay. Let's go kill that sectoid then. I thought I killed all of them, but clearly I didn't. Well, that's a little bit irritating. Now I have to go handle that stupid sectoid. Oh well, whatever, I'll do it. I'm still going to move in. Or at least start moving in. Maybe position Don to get line of sight. Come on, Don. You can move here and then use steady weapon, maybe. Okay, steady weapon. Lucas. And Overwatch. That last sectoid might be at the edge of the map. Which is so annoying. I'm on the move. I don't think that's a full group. No, that's just a sectoid that ran away. And now it's dead. Bye. Can we focus on the Ethereal yet? That would be great. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Any more reloads needed? No. Now I'm definitely down to one group only. And it's in here. Obviously. Well, this will be a fun engagement. I hope that's just one Ethereal, not two Ethereals. Two Ethereals are definitely possible. So, Don. I need Don to be in a good position. So probably right here. Yep. Sounds good. Let's move. I definitely don't want to open the force field too soon. That would be terrible. I need to position everyone properly. Which will take two or three turns. Jessica probably needs to be in the front. I still have one more smoke grenade. Yeah, I do. So Ariadne here. Don. Come on, Don. Where are you? Okay, Don will be right here. And use steady weapon. I still got some rocket launchers, so Don will be right next to Don. And have steady weapon active. To reduce scatter range. Jessica next to the force field. Lucas, probably somewhere in the back. I might have to use a ghost grenade if I fail to kill the ethereal on the first turn. RP. Oh yeah, he's the one with the ghost grenades, but also with the regular grenades. Well, Sebastian. He needs to have good line of sight. I'm on the move. Can actually do it like this. Sebastian here. And my scout. Alright, good enough. They might not be in this room. They might be in that small side room. Well, let's find out. Oh, I should have used steady weapon first, actually, but whatever. No, they are not here. Okay. Well, let's use steady weapon now. Because why not? They have to be either in that side room or on the other side of the UFO, here. I think they will be in that small side room, actually, here. But I'm not sure. Well, they are obviously not here. So... Yeah, that will be interesting. Don here. Donny. Yeah, this will be a little bit tricky. Don't it could be where my scout is, that's not a bad idea. And then use steady weapon. He just needs a line of sight. On the move. Jessica in the front, Sebastian. Where's Sebastian? Already moved him. Lucas will stay in the back. 
Oh yeah, Sebastian is already here. I really need Don to have line of sight. Oh no, they are on the other side. Yeah, now this is obvious. They are on the other side. Let's open this fourth field then. Well, that's not great because positioning will definitely be a problem here. Yeah. I don't like this at all. Okay, there they are. One ethereal. And some heavy floaters. And now ethereal is out of line of sight of pretty much everyone. I can handle the heavy floaters first, I guess. I could leave Ariadne out here. Or I could move her out of line of sight to make the ethereal move towards me. I need to move everyone out of line of sight. So, Sebastian. I could move into this room. I could move here. And then take a shot at that heavy floater. Yeah, the ethereal won't see me here. So, I like that idea. 28%. 13 crit, nice. And that's a kill, perfect. Okay, good. Now the other heavy floater. Ariadne will definitely move out of the way. Run and gun. Probably not, although if I move here... The Theal won't see Jessica. Yeah. He won't see Jessica in there. I like that idea. Let's do that. So what's my chance to hit now? 92% and 90% chance to crit. 20 crit, nice. And that's a kill. 40 damage. <laughs> okay, now back to the ethereal. I need to move out of line of sight. Let's see. So Ariadne goes here. She's technically fine because she has enough hit points to survive. Also done. Needs to have a chance at least to hit the ethereal. I might actually use the ghost grenade. Even though I don't really need it. But I think I'm going to use it still. Yeah, I'm going to use the ghost grenade. Steady weapon. And let's use the ghost grenade. Steady weapon on Dawn. Like this. The plan is to just blow up the walls to get line of sight for Dawn. Okay, Ghost Grenade. Just to be safe. Can I give Ariadne Ghost Grenade to? No, she doesn't really need it. Might be a bit of a waste of a Ghost Grenade, but I don't want to risk the Ethereal actually getting a line of sight to Dawn, for example. Because Dawn would just die immediately with only 13 hit points. Alright, here it comes. Can he see Ariadne? Okay, he can't see anything. So, Don. Can Don get line of sight? No, I need to blow up the wall. Alright, that's what we'll do then. I could throw a grenade. Well, first of all, let's move Ariadne a bit. I can just blow up the wall. So, that's what I'm going to do. But, need to move out of the way first. So, move out of the way and I'll throw a grenade. I could also use Shader Rocket. If I throw a grenade, I won't have a Ghost Grenade available. So if I do this, I'll actually have to kill that Ethereal. Which I should be able to. I mean, I have a lot of firepower here. But it's certainly not a guarantee. Let's do it. Okay, now I should have line of sight for Don. And he should have 100% chance to hit. Okay. I need to not get reflected. So let's make it happen. Okay, 19 crit. Perfect. This is exactly why Dawn is here. Or why I bring precision shot snipers to missions with ethereals. I don't even mind if the second shot gets reflected. Awesome. 16 critical. Dawn almost soloed an ethereal on his own. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Who's going to get the kill then? Someone who's not a master sergeant, maybe? Dawn, I can take a shot. Reflected. Okay, then. Jessica is already a Master Sergeant. Oh, Lucas can take a shot. 45% and that's a kill. Nice one. And the mission should be done. Is it done? Day. Yep, 19 aliens. That was a pretty good mission. 
Let's see if we got any promotions. Probably not. But let's find out. Maybe some Valerium. No promotions, but that's okay. How much Valerium? 26 Valerium, okay. That's actually pretty decent. So, can I research anything? Yes, I can. Heavy plasma weapons or precision plasma weapons? Or I should save up for mind and machine. That's 50 Elerium. I should probably save up actually. Alright, let's save up. Outside training. And gene mods. Right, let's scan for activity then. Fighter. Air raid. Alright, let's send the firestorm then. Fighters can do quite a lot of damage. I don't want to risk sending regular interceptors, actually. And this should be an easy kill. Come on. How is it not down yet? There we go. Destroyed it. Scan. Satellite is done. That's just a backup satellite. I still plan to do the alien base assault, but I'm waiting for a terror mission. Because I wouldn't want the terror mission to happen in, in Argentina right after I destroy the alien base. And then I'll have to do the alien base again next month. Okay, abductor. But that's a research mission. My firestorms is being repaired. I'll just have to ignore that one. Oh, it's a landing site. Okay. Ethereal. Cyberdisk, Mechtoid, Mutant Elite. This will be a tough mission. I'll need a good squad for this one. But I'm going to continue in the next part. So if you enjoyed this one, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.